Mark Twain said that travel is fatal to narrow-mindedness. And traveling across countries' face and political views, I just spent three weeks exploring remote Thai islands, discovering wonders of the world, being blown away by human creations. And there really is nothing like it to jolt you out of your blinkered five-year plan and give you a new sense of perspective on your life, where you're going and what you want to achieve. Imagining the human sacrifice that went into building the colossal structures of Angkor Wat, I was hit beautifully head on with just how powerful humans are when they act in unison. Travelling to a remote Thai island where I met virtually no other tourists, I had plenty of time to reflect on life. Singapore brought the human potential I'd seen realised at Angkor Wat into the 21st century. Indoor waterfall, stunning man-made gardens and a city that just started to remind me of my corporate life back home. And finally, Bali. Sun, stunning mountains, beautiful beaches, everything needed to induce a quarter-life crisis about my impending return to London. So yeah, anyway, a trip like this gives perspective. I definitely got some perspective on my life and on my life together with Beth. So yeah, we ultimately decided that it might be time to stop dating and to move on to bigger and better things. Instead, Instead we, we got, got engaged! engaged. So yeah, it all happened on a magical island called Koh Kud. There were waterfalls and beaches and incredible food pretty much everywhere. And the night I was planning on getting down on one knee, there was also a pretty incredible sunset. She said yes. <laughs> <laughs> so Beth has now picked up some new bling in Thailand a couple of weeks ago. We are now in Bali. And yeah, super excited. Did you like the little trick there? You know, just kind of keeping you on, on your toes. <laughs> but <laughs> people have been pestering me in the Q&As for the last three to four years <laughs> for when this was going to happen. And in the most recent q and I had to be like, no idea, definitely not yet. Wedding's such a burden. <laughs> but now, you know, it's, it's happened finally. So yeah, what are your thoughts? I'm, I'm so excited. And Liam did a great job and I had Literally no idea. I think thanks to the Q and A, you know, just really, really threw me off the scent. <laughs> and yeah, it was amazing. We're in Thailand. It was so beautiful, and we were just on the beach, just us. Yeah, it was so great, so so lovely, and yeah, so excited. Can't wait. Another adventure. I'm sure you will uh, be brought along on the journey. We made it to Cambodia. So look, real talk, we had an insane time together. But I feel like it's important to say that beyond the Instagram worthy pictures and sexy b-roll that you're watching right now, in the day to days of traveling, as Meg J says in her book about the defining decade that are your 20s, spending three weeks, just the two of you, is maybe the closest thing you'll get to marriage before actually saying those I do's. Yes, we were in tropical paradises, but traveling as a duo also comes with tiredness, the odd day flushing your insides out, constantly being in each other's company, stressful border crossings, and long, irritable bus journeys, all together. Pretty much all the time. And after all that, we're still very much in love. Yeah, and for anyone planning on proposing, it is quite stressful. <laughs> like trying to keep it a complete secret. First of all, the ring. I had no idea. We'd literally never talked about like what style Beth would want. We'd never discussed anything. I literally had no idea. Beth barely ever wears rings. So I was going around Paris being like, yeah, yeah I'd really like a ring. Like thinking of proposing, they're like, do you know the size, sir? Literally no idea. I don't Do you know wear what style any to? other rings. So. Literally no idea. Um, but yeah, that happened and then had to get the ring all the way here without Beth knowing. And my hand luggage got searched in security on the way <laughs> through the airport when we were on our way here. I was like, Beth, go, go, go. Unfortunately, they just wanted to swab my camera. Um, but yeah, that was like a close call. And then you have to like 
get to the point where you want to propose on this beach with this massive box in your pocket. And I was wearing swimming trunks because Beth had refused to go and get ready. Basically, we were sat there and I was like, do you want to go and like freshen up? So, you know, for some nice photos and stuff on the beach, I'm thinking like, you know, let's really get her, uh, you know, like, feeling. Nah, and I'm we've been happy on the beach here. all day, sweaty, sun creamy, kind of gross. I was enjoying my book, so I was just like, no, I don't need to get ready. There's only us, who am I getting ready for? Yeah, but hey. Uh, it was all good. It was very special, that, and I think it was all the better. Oh, like it wasn't. Yeah, exactly. Oh, natural, which I think is kind of our style. Yeah. Not super kind of made up, perfect like dinner and all that kind of stuff. Just the two of us, beautiful beach, and yeah, super happy. We made it to Singapore. So in terms of when we might actually get married, who knows more or less, from the very limited research we've done, it seems like finding a venue for next year is unlikely, so we'll probably be in 2024. Plus, we both feel like potentially trying to buy a flat right now may be a higher priority than wedding planning, although adult life is a lot. Honestly, I hadn't really got past just proposing and then having an awesome trip. And Singapore, by the way, what a place. We absolutely loved it. Last stop, Bali. Where I finally, after more than two years working together, met my awesome editors, Itcher and Eric, and Eric's brother, Peter, who make these videos look so insanely good. So let's just take a moment to appreciate how flipping amazing they are. Kind of funny because they'll be editing this right now and cringing horrendously, but <laughs> hey, I don't care. Anyway, I dove, <laughs> I think it's dove, into swimming pools and bruised my back because I'm an idiot. We also did an awesome cooking class for my birthday, which was amazing. Balinese people are so friendly and the food was incredible. We walked through rice fields, which were amazing, and on which local people still rely to eat. And I found that just kind of crazy. Like I was there meeting my video editors on the other side of the planet as we work together in a way, I guess, kind of like to feed each other, earning money through doing this in one of the most modern businesses in the world, while farmers in the very same country continue doing what people have been doing for four or so thousand years. Not sure there's particularly a takeaway from that, but it just kind of struck me as pretty cool. I'm excited. Let's do it. If any wedding venue like places happen to be watching this, we are open yeah, to hit us up. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you're gonna be seeing a lot more of this gown over the coming months, which is exciting. Very exciting. Love you. Love you too. See you soon, peeps. See you Thanks later. for watching. <laughs>